All right, guys, Dave Mad Max 6. I'm back at the Dragons there with my good friend, the giant, Jamie. What's going on, man? Good, Dave. It's a pleasure to see you, mate. It's been I'm, a while. I'm so glad. Yes, that's, it, is, it has been a while. And so I saw you at the Dragons there, and Jay's like, you got to catch Jamie. He's in town. Yeah. So tell me why you're in Vegas right now. So in April or March, I went to the Arnold Classic and signed with Mutant. So they're my new sponsor from April. That's new, right? Because you weren't with them before. Wasn't with them before, no. Um, okay. But thank God I took it upon myself, went to the Arnold Classic just to network and meet people, got talking to Ron there, and they welcomed me with open arms. Got me working on the stand for free, just a bit of a, bit of a trial. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> I, man. I must have impressed. <laughs> so yeah, we're here with Mutant this weekend um, just to get content, um, get all the athletes together, get some as much footage as possible. Um, we've just taken on a new athlete, Sean Clarida, 212 Mr. Olympian champ. And you know, that's filling out the roster. We've got some great, great athletes now. Um, but the big thing is for me this weekend, it's about getting that camaraderie between the group because that maps across to everything. Uh, it maps across to your social media interaction. And when we come back for the Olympia, we're not just a team on a stand, we're like a family. Mm -hmm. And I think the people coming to the stand will notice that and feel welcome. And yeah, it's just amazing. So we got, I got the pleasure to come back to Flex's gym, get some sessions and see you as well. So I was asking you, where you were actually in, uh where you were staying off camera and you told me you actually rented a big uh, Airbnb we're all yeah, living together yeah. like 15 people living in there that must yeah. be kind of cool it is so we've called <laughs> it the, obviously the, the mutant mansion yeah uh, and again a great chance to get to know the guys just get that camaraderie and that morale going to another level and it's been a very 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 good trip that, I hope they've been doing some filming in there because oh, I would love to see that yeah lots of filming it's like <laughs> big brother yeah to bodybuilders of course so tell me what you've been up to since you left last time I know you were training heavily with Milos when you came you know, yeah, for this yeah. little uh, camp. So you went back home, did your homework. You yep. made a lot of progress. You look good right now, man. So tell me how it's been since I saw you last. Yeah, I'm feeling good, Dave. So when I left here, I think I was about 3.05. My peak off season weight was 3.43. Holy so crap. I, I, did, I did well, I had a good off season. Currently at 3. 300 to 305 on weight. I've done some traveling obviously to get here and I yeah. lost some weight traveling. I was 305 before I left. Um, so I think the stage weight's gonna be around 300s. Wow. And that's gonna be different to the last time I was on stage. I was on stage last time about 293. Okay. And this is gonna be an even better look at heavier weight. So I'm, I'm very excited. You have a you have a lot of shows planned coming up. Yep. You wanna you wanna give the scoop? I'm sure I'm not the first one to talk about it, but yeah. tell me what's coming up what's coming up for you. So three weeks time on Sunday, so currently Saturday, tomorrow, three weeks tomorrow, um, is Italy, obviously qualified for Olympia. And then two weeks after that, so in five weeks time, we've got the Arnold Classic UK, which is obviously a massive, massive show. Probably, probably the biggest show in Europe this year and su subsequent years. So I think that show is going to get bigger and bigger. And um, that's going to be an interesting one because you've got the likes of Andrew Jacks, you've got James Hollingshead, you've got Martin Fitzwater, who had a great result. Lionel Beck is supposed to be turned oh, up. I so heard, yes. if, he, if he shows up in shape, I heard. you know, he, he can beat anyone. Yeah. So that's going to be a great show to be a part of. And then a week after that, I go to France in uh, Lille. Um, nice Eurostar train, take me an hour from London, which is great. And then from France, there's another show in Italy the week after. So that's four shows in like five weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. But what I want to do this year, Dave, is um, let the judges know who the giant is. And I don't think you can do that in one or two shows. As, right. a, as a younger athlete, you've seen Regan and you see him rise through the ranks to get to the Olympia. He did no different. He had to do show after show after show just to let the judges know that you're here to stay, you mean business and they appreciate that. And I think that's how you get rewarded. Yeah, that's for sure. You, you own a gym back home, right? Yeah. So is that what you do for a living back home? You own a gym? I'm an online coach. Okay. The gym was open to the public pre-COVID. Okay. But when we had the last lockdown, which is like, what, 2021 or 2020, in the in like the winter and up to Christmas, I, w I was in prep. And I, I, I turned to my training partner one day. I was like, this is amazing. A private gym. <laughs> In prep, when you're like tired and you've got all these normal people coming up to you asking loads of questions and <laughs> bothering you, which, you know, sounds bad, but when you're in prep, you just want to focus on the task in hands. And I think when you're around normal, everyday people that don't quite get it, it can be difficult at times. So I decided to close the gym. It's now private, which obviously for me as a professional bodybuilder works perfectly. So I have got a gym, but it's private. Okay. And my main income is through coaching others to hopefully one day look like me. Yes. <laughs> So tell me, how has it been, because I know when you train with Milos, that's really intense. Yeah. We caught it on camera. How is it to actually, are you able to actually take back that intensity back home and do it on your own? Or do you do a giant set? Tell me, tell me how the training yeah. changed a little bit when you go back home. Right, so I did try the giant sets for a number of months. Even through peak off season, when I was really heavy and I was really struggling to breathe and the fitness wasn't quite there. Um, but just recently, probably like four or five weeks into prep, me and the training partner had a discussion. We was like, 
We don't feel as though we can manage the high volume and then get enough load at the same time. We, we felt like the load or the weight of the exercises was dropping considerably to make up for the output and the cardiovascular ability. Of course, ability. yeah. So I think unless you've got a Milos like hammering you all the time, <laughs> it's a very, very hard style of training to replicate. Yes. So we've got more traditional or old school. The only thing I'm doing that's probably different to past years is I'm training six days in a row now. Okay. You, you know Milos is a stickler for training as much as you can. Yes. So I train Monday to Saturday and have Sunday off. Okay. Um, that's the main thing really. Training is just like hard, heavy, quick, intense. It's everything it should be in my eyes. Yeah. You want to leave the gym and feel like you've done something and, and that's what we're doing. How long is a training session for you on average? An hour and a half, yeah. legs could be two hours. Yeah. Yeah, but that's average. Yeah. So let me ask you this, whenever you go back to your old style of training or you do, uh, you know, old school training like you say, and you come back over here and you train with needles, how hard is that <laughs> to train with needles? It's crazy. <laughs> It's just like a shock to the system I'm all over sure again. I'm sure it is. You know what it, I was like last time I did legs? Yes. Oh, God. You, I, went, you got through it, man. I got through it. I, I've got a strong mental capacity. Yeah. And I think to train with Milos, you need that. You have to have it. Um, and many body he, does, he won't let you quit. No. He uh, hates that. I think his aim is to make you quit. He wants to make you quit. Of course. But... You know, well, you he, can. He, knows, he knows how, <laughs> how far I can push people. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jamie, thank you so much for coming back to Las Vegas. I was so happy that you know you were here. Yep. Uh, Glay, uh, Jay will be really glad to, uh, to have you back on the channel. Best of luck in your four shows, man. We're going to keep an eye on you. Yeah, thank and you. we hope to see you back in, uh, in uh, December for, uh, for the Olympia. I'll be back for sure. Yeah. With even bigger arms. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Nice to day. Thank you. Games, no robot in two different lanes. You're just propane. I'm actual flame. Champion by any means. The game done turned it kid into a psycho uh everything the culture needs you want to catch fire what's that to a viral uh stars are alarm on my dreams was left in the dark but i came to light it up gambling all on my team if you ain't advanced you ain't roll the dice enough i kill a game when i'm in the mood i'm in it whether i win or lose else turn the lessons that made me win so when have you ever seen when it's lose Stand in the way of my goals, I get critical I shift the paradigm, I make a different view I know that theories can die cause I'm living proof My spots are lit if I way past the physical Not a deal So you'll see this will be higher ranks, lower weight Two to minus Level is at an all time high I am a mortal, even in centuries I never die Nah, I am a mortal My legacy will keep me alive I Contest against time, ah, immortalized, nah. Oh, top level high, ah, oh, immortalized, nah. Oh, contest against time, ah, oh, immortalized. Got some sleeves on for this one. It's a bit heavy for the knees. I never die, nah. I am a mortal, my legacy will keep me alive. I contest against time, I immortalize. Nah. Yeah. Time level high, oh.
Like 60 pulses, and I feel 60. <laughs> so that's it. What we done? We did a leg extension, seated leg curl, went on to leg press, did about five sets on there, finished with a rest pause set, two sets of split squat, and then we come over here and done hamstring curls. That's a complete quad glute hamstring workout. When you're on low food, when you're low body fat, you got to try and obviously not train like a pussy, but be mindful that you can do too much and dig yourself a hole. So it really, at this stage, it's about finding that balance between every element of bodybuilding, which I think I'm doing a good job of. I'm confident that in three weeks time, my first show in Italy will be the best I've ever looked. And that's always the goal of the bodybuilder, it's to be better than the last time you stepped on stage. I've definitely made improvements, like I said, in the hamstrings and the back. I'm confident that Milos and me have got like a great working relationship as a coach client. I'm fully confident and backing his ideas and thought process towards the direction of the prep. And that's key. Like I know a lot of people, I'm a coach myself. If you're not gelling with a client, if you're not trusting your coach, if you're not doing everything they're telling you to, it's just not gonna work. Because trust me, when you're at that last stage of prep and you're weak and you're tired and you've got no body fat, cannot make rational decisions by yourself. And if anything, what you want to do in bodybuilding is control stress. Stress is bad, especially in the last stage. Like I've seen people's physiques change just because of stress. So having the confidence in your coach, your physique, the direction that you're both pulling towards together is absolute key for that last stage where you want to keep stress to a minimum and peak like you've never peaked before. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment below, like the video, and I'll see you again. No mercy for you. No worries for you, that Game of Thrones, go sexy on you I flip the script, I roll the dice, don't fall asleep, cause I'm working nights Hey, you tryna shut me 